Google AI's list of the, let's go with the worst bands of the 2000s. Yeah, worst rock bands of the 2000s. I did that for worst and best, and I got my text-to-speech app, and I recorded the robot reading off the worst bands so that I don't have to use my voice and I be the jerk. <laughs> so, Smart. again, that's, that's I can't stress enough, Google Bard searches Google itself to find these results, and man, oh, man, there are some that are a little funny, but some are straight up cruel. Is that the AI Google Bard? Yes. Okay. All right. So here is, so this and is this is chat by GPT. Yeah. This is this is Go yeah. Google okay. Bard, listing off their their worst yeah. rock bands. Of, and he has a little explanation, like uh, a one line explanation or two of why he chose those bands. Also, All right, here we go. Top ten worst two thousands rock bands from Google Bard. These bands were chosen for a variety of reasons, including their overproduced sound, lack of originality, and bland lyrics. They were also all very popular in the 2000s, which made them even more of a target for criticism. 10. Papa Roach Papa Roach right. is a band that is often seen as being formulaic and repetitive. Their music is often seen as being about anger and frustration, and their lyrics are often seen as being about nothing in particular. Okay. That's the last Nine. 30 years. Puddle of... Yeah, pause it. So... That's the last 30 years of young rock music. I agree. And he says that the lyrics are about nothing in particular. He says about three bands. So that's like the catch-all. Right. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so 10 Papa Roach, I don't agree with it all. At all. I don't even know I why. Don't, I don't agree with that at all either. Yeah. All right, so. here's number nine. Nine. Puddle of Mud. Puddle of Mud is a band that is often seen as being juvenile and immature. Their music is often seen as being about partying and drinking, and their lyrics are often seen as being about nothing in particular. I, I don't get that. You mean rock and roll? Well, Puddle of <laughs> Mud's music is about partying and drinking. I don't. I'm not sure anybody is going to the to the party for say. philosophy. Yeah, that's true. Also, no one's trying to get something like Tool inspired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Maynard level lyrics okay. from Puddle of Mud. <laughs> what sometimes makes a band great Eight. is them delivering what their you expect. Their music yes. seems to be about her hating me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's number eight. This is Google, Google Bard AI. Three Days Grace. Three Days Grace is a band that is often seen as being unoriginal and derivative. Their music is often seen as being a ripoff of other bands, and their lyrics are often seen as being cliched and predictable. Hmm. Seven. I agree with that one either. Hmm. So, Breaking Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin is a band. You're basically going down the point's entire playlist. Yeah, I was going to say, Bard is making friends in St. Louis. Baby. Also, this was, I would love, I love the Adam era Three Days Grace, too. Me, too. So, it's like, I don't see the point of that one at all, so. Breaking Benjamin is a band that is often seen as being boring and bland. Their music is often seen as being generic and uninspired, and their lyrics are often seen as being about nothing in particular. That was the last nothing in particular. Breaking Benjamin, come on. They are not the worst of the 2000s by a long shot. No. So. And that was their number seven? Can that I ask was... this before we go mm -hmm. on? Did you agree with any of them? Yeah, or would Maybe. you say it? <laughs> oh, yeah, Puddle, Puddle of Mud, I am not a fan of. <laughs> no, I'm I'll, saying, I'll like, that going right forward, I want to know if they Oh, okay, any. going forward. Puddle of Mud is one, though, I would put on the list. Because okay. there's one that has to make this list. Okay. Okay, okay uh, yeah, <laughs> number six is next. Six, Seether. Seether. Seether is a band that is often seen as being angry and bitter. Their music is often seen as being aggressive and violent, and their lyrics are often seen as being about anger and revenge. So that's Seether. Fa I mean, they are called Seether. Yeah, I mean, that's right in the title. But, okay. again, I still don't agree with that, so. I've Stained. Stained is a band that is often seen as being whiny and self-pitying. <laughs> <laughs> so again, Google oh, Bard is vicious when he needs to be. So, oh, it's brutal. Their music is often seen as being depressing and downbeat, and the lyrics are often seen as being about heartbreak and loss. Yeah, um... He, 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 I'm not saying he's wrong. So, yeah, that's actually fair on that one. I'm not a Stain fan myself. I think so. Stain's came... first couple records are... 90s records, yes. Yeah, His function yeah, yeah. is amazing. Yeah, right. That's the one with Mud Shovel and mm -hmm. uh, that had like a, Just that, Go. That had like a unique kind of angst to it, though. Yes. Well, I love those first couple Stain records. Four, Creed. Creed is a band that is often seen as being pretentious and self-important. <laughs> their music is often seen as being over-the-top and melodramatic, and their lyrics are often seen as being preachy and self-righteous. Yeah. <laughs> Three, Limp Bizkit. Stop it. Oh, after. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. So, Thank you. Two things. One, Listen after you read number three, <laughs> stop it fast. Because, in my opinion, number two is the jaw drop moment. 
So just be ready for that. Okay. Before you, uh, after Limp Bizkit gets done. Oh, Limp Bizkit. Yeah, Come on. they, yeah. It's of faith. Are they going to say it's whiny? Uh, Limp Bizkit. Go ahead. Go Bizkit ahead. is a band that is often seen as being a joke. A joke. Their music is often seen as being juvenile and immature, and their lyrics are often seen as being nonsensical and offensive. Stop it. Yeah, so nonsensical and offensive is why he put it on there. Whatever, bro. So, <laughs> okay, I, I, you're I, arguing I, with AI. I agree. I, no, agree. I know, yeah. But, but at least bad like, AI, too. Bad at, AI. At least they took a lot of different shots into different parts of the net. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I just want to point Respect. out this. I am not the messenger on number two. Uh, so I'm just going to look at this point at the desk right now and not make eye contact with anyone while you read off okay, the number two. Uh, what do you think it's going to be? You'll never guess. What if they're going they for say... Is Worst rock bands of the 2000s. If they say one of my bands, I'll, I'll no, it's be not. I'll be oh, honored. that'd be amazing. Uh, if they say the one uh, band that tool. needs to be on this list, I'll disagree and say it needs to be number one. Not number I bet two. you they're going to say Nickelback. Oh, okay. That's not going to be a jaw dropper, though. Huh. I, I don't even want to. I can't even really, like, lead you to that water. Okay. All I right, can't. Well, I see. can't. So. Here's Google AI with their list. Uh, number two. This is number two. Worst rock band of the year 2000 or the, of the 2000s. Two, Linkin Park. Oh. oh Whoa. Right. Yes. Wow. Google yeah. Bard gets vicious with the description, coming in hard. too. It's, it's they're, coming, they're coming in hard just to try to get that. Yeah, I, I feel Listen, like... Bard just wants to get a catch, you know. He just exactly. He wants to get it's out like, there. I feel like Google read a bunch of Edgelord troll posts on, <laughs> yeah. like, some old yeah, yeah, yeah. message boards, and that's where he got the opinion. Yep, just to get the, just to get the widespread. Uh, yes. Park is another band that has been criticized for their overproduced sound. Okay, is that is that's not it. It keeps going. It keeps it gets going. Their music is often seen as being too heavy and aggressive, and the lyrics are often seen as being too dark and depressing. Okay. Huh. That's yeah. not really. First of all, that's I have never come across anyone that said, oh, Linkin Park, that's just too heavy, boy. I know. <laughs> man, that is heavy. Come on, man. I know. Nobody it's just so uncomfortable when I saw that. I'm like, how? What? Uh? All right, well, let's, let's see what Google's got to say. What's number one? One, Nickelback. You got the number one. Oh, Nickelback is often choked. criticized for their overproduced sound and lack of originality. Their songs are often formulaic and repetitive, and their lyrics are often seen as being shallow and uninspired. Yeah, but it works. Yeah, it's because they say A after but it every works. word. I like me some Nickelback. I like old Nickelback, like The State. Oh, That's the Leader stuff of that men. Was, yeah, that album was solid. This stuff works. They're giving their audience exactly what it wants. Oh, and it's, billions and of audience, audience, And they're doing too. it well. They are. All right, qu quickly, so Luke, huge. tell me who the best are. Okay, do you want me to read the uh, is there anybody that should have been on that list? Wait, 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 professional. Is there anybody that should have been on that list? <laughs> Come on, give me your opinion. Um, who should have been on that list? 2000s Limp Bizkit should have been on the list, yes. I do. I'm sorry, my AI says no. My AI says Hell yeah. Okay, there you go. So, I'll just go through the bands then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number 10. These are the best 2000s rock bands, according to the same AI. Number 10, The Strokes. Number 9. Okay, no. Okay, you can do that for each one. You can do Wait, this, for each is, one. this is what? This is the what? best, the the best, best bands 2000s, of the 2000s rock bands. From, from Bar. Same from thing, bar. yep. Yeah. Okay. You want to read the description or just go through the bands? Let's go through the bands. Okay, number 9, My Chemical Romance. Okay. Yep. 8, Coldplay. Yep. Okay. Seven, Radiohead. <laughs> oh, oh Reese, um, you're pushing the button a he's, lot. Is, he's do you not like that one? <laughs> Dude, I love it because Radiohead people are lose their mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, diehards. I diehards. Know, even more, I'm starting next week's right now. Radiohead? Radioheads. Okay. Six, The Killers. Yep. Okay. Love me some killers. There you mm -hmm. go. Five, Muse. Okay. Yep. Four, Foo Fighters. Okay, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the Three, The White Stripes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's fine. Mm. Number two. Best bands of the 2000s. Number two, Linkin Park. Oh, so ah. Do you number see the two. issue? <laughs> Do you understand why Google Bard is a little bit bonkers but hilarious Hypocrite. at the same time? Yes, yes. Well, you know what's funny? It's not all that different than major publications. <laughs> we were an alternative press for the best band of 2004. Okay. And, it, and in the exact same, I think it was a cover issue. I was on a cover. Okay. And in the exact same issue, it said, bands no one will care about in 2005. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so Lincoln so Park Bart made the best kinda, and worst. Bart okay. is kind of right in the music review uh, world here. Okay, yeah. And then number one, Green Day. 
of American the 2000s. Idiot. Yeah, American Idiot was big, so that's why it said Green Day was the best. I mean, I'm more of a band. '90s Green Day fan than Me 2000s. Too, and I I'm a Dookie like, fan. Yeah. I, yeah. Was, I did not like. Yeah. I mean, I liked American Idiot, but I wasn't into it. But it was like the revamp of all revamps. Yes. I mean, oh, like, sure. I mean, look, they made explosively reinvented. Change gears big time. Really I mean, it, Im impressively. Like yes. that is like the model. It became almost like a U2 e model where mm -hmm. you're like, holy crap, look, if Green Day can do this, mm -hmm. <laughs> Blink can do it too. Mm -hmm. And all these other bands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that, that really was. I understand actually why Google is thinking that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moon agrees. It, it kind of makes huh. sense. So. Ray, if you agree? I was just yawning. <laughs> <laughs> to Green Day? Or to just no, in general? No, just in general. Okay, gotcha. I wouldn't well, have said thanks. It, but it does make sense. Look We're at, look at out, AI. Man. Look yeah. At AI. Yeah. Looking like Crushing a it. genius and a fool all in one. Yeah, right. exactly. Like most music reviewers. A very confused AI. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll own up most to that. Critics critics yeah, every time. Time. yeah, I was going to say all of us. Oh, yeah. Anytime also, we're talking about anything. My it's bias crazy. shows sometimes when I review music, I can't help it. But that's every reviewer, too. Everyone has a little bit and of bias. And it's supposed to. And that's, yes. why, that's why people zoom in on you. Yeah. You they know what I mean? Your Be, because, mm -hmm. yeah, they trust you and they know that you're being honest. Yeah. yeah.